two years ka ng married. Like, uh, I've seen you live independently. Uh, how's married life for you? Kasi syempre, di ba, may kasama ka ng iba na inong aside from just yourself. You want the real answer or the showbiz answer? So the, <laughs> the real answer. <laughs> the answer is, I probably held back in announcing my marriage. We've been married since September 2020, but I announced it almost a year after. And I figured I probably held back on announcing it because I wanted to make sure we were gonna stay together. Alam mo naman yung mga kwento na during the pandemic, maraming nagiwalay, di ba? It brought yes. out to a lot of couples. And meron din kaming ganun. Um, meron din kaming uh, stuck under one roof the whole day, not seeing anybody without our families, no support system, no friends, we can't fly out of the country. Um... So it was challenging. I won't say na maghihiwalay kami, pero it was very challenging. So I we really tried to focus on building our partnership, settling into life in Australia and wala akong closure sa buhay ko sa Pilipinas. Hindi ako bumalik. So dumating ako dito. Mm-mm. How's that? I mean, how did married life change you? Ano-ano mga nagbago sa iyo? Um, well, as an Asian woman, but half Western at independent, um, mas naging submissive ako, syempre. Kasi hindi mo pwedeng palagi ipaglaban yung gusto mo. You always have to consider the feelings of the other person. There's two of you in a partnership. Um, we always treated our marriage like a partnership, so open discussion sa lahat. Um, in terms of being nurturing naman and loving, Pareho lang eh, kasi gano'n naman talaga ako eh. Parang gano'n talaga yung nature ko sa mga kaibigan ko, sa mga workmates ko. So, it it was really about uh, learning how to be in a, in a partnership, in a marriage. And un- understanding that a marriage is a partnership. It's not mm. all romance and love. Diba? It's it's um building a life together. So, it's it's a lot of life admin. It's a lot of organization it's a lot of aligning your values talking about the things that are really important in life it's not all kisses and love making and all that you know sappy stuff mm pero alam mo Bianca, i'll be honest with you ha? uh sabi mo nga diba i've seen you grow um i i know some parts of your life and i know you're one of the really good people that i've met in showbiz pero for you to to describe yourself as submissive parang naninib ako naninibago ako doon ah I, I, you know what i mean right yes yes kasi siguro um mga babae sa showbiz ang dating din namin napaka-independent diba kasi we work so hard we earn our own money Um, siguro yung persona ko din medyo strong yung personality nandun pa rin naman yun hindi naman ako push over hindi, hindi, hindi ako doormat pero marunong akong mag-compromise compromise is the magic word in any relationship oh compromise hindi submissive kasi parang ang tingin ko kasi parang submissive oo ka lang ng oo hindi naman mm-hmm. hindi naman actually maybe that's the meaning that we're used to with the word submissive pero para sa akin kasi um, kung dati napaka headstrong talaga na kailangan talaga na no I have to I have to be right I have to get my way if I don't get my way then I'm going the other way yung ganon Pe- pero now parang yung yung finding a compromise in the partnership marunong na ako mag back down and say okay let's meet halfway or okay you're actually right here so So, I'm siding with you. I will let go of my own beliefs for now because maybe I was wrong. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ko ng submissive. Hindi hindi naman yung opo-opo, ganun na lang lahat-lahat, diba? Hindi naman ganun. Ah, nakaka-proud ka. So, maturity becomes you. Oh, I think. <laughs> At naman, magpo-40 na ako, di ba? <laughs> Pero, okay. Your wedding was just Oh, I don't want to say I I don't want to use the word just. Um, your wedding is was in your living room. Yes. 
anong story behind this? Okay, some people will find this very romantic. Some people will find this parang, bakit dyan lang? Mm-mm. You know, pero what's the story behind, you know, having your wedding at your living room? So, yung story is, so we got married September 2020. Pinili namin yung date na yon. Wala, random. It was really random. It wasn't like, oh, we have to get married on the state, ganyan, ganyan. It, it just so happened because we had decided I was gonna stay in Australia and start to build my life there with Ralph. And, um, bawal ang, bawal ang, um, tourists pumasok. So, there was no sense in planning a big wedding kasi hindi din namin alam kung kailan matutuloy. Ayaw din namin yung mag-plan kami and then it keeps on getting moved and moved and moved, ba? Parang life is already so stressful. What I said was, I don't want extra stress right now. Like, I know how stressful it is to plan weddings and how it's expensive it can be. What more when you have to keep changing the date and moving stuff, right? So, um, I didn't want to put us under that pressure. And also, practicality din. Um, ayoko siyang gastusan, sa totoo lang. At that very moment, um, our priorities were different. We really wanted to, to, to save. And yung, ano rin, yung siguro pagkatao, pag, pagkatao namin, pareho kaming low-key. Very, very simple. It's like we find beauty in the simplicity of things. Like, My dresses were on sale. We just ate at the restaurant. I did the flowers and everything. I find joy in simplicity and mundane things. You know, doing things with my hands myself. Sa iyo ko unang nakita yon, kasi lahat ng mga celebrity homes na napupuntahan ko dati, punong-puno ng mga gamit. Siyempre, di ba? I mean, of course, we, we all can afford. Pero, pag sa iyo, ang halos kung at bare necessities lang yung laman ng bahay mo. Mm-mm. Ganun din kami sa wedding namin. Kung ano lang yung kailangan namin. Ang handa lang namin sa bahay namin is cookies and coffee. That's it. For the for the handful of people that were there for the ceremony itself. Tapos nung nag-lunch kami sa labas, medyo siguro mga close to 10 people na kami. We, we invited more friends. And then yung families naman namin and mga best friends namin all over the world, nan- nanonood sila on Zoom. Mm-hmm. So... They were they were a witness to our wedding. Ralph is the younger brother of Ben. Correct. Correct. Who, who happens to be married to Isa Calzado? Yes. Okay. What's what's the connection there? Paano ka yung nagmeet ni Ralph? So I was a guest at Ben and Isa's wedding in Palawan in December 2018, and Ralph was the best man. And um, at that time, yung mind frame ko na mga 32, magta-33 na ako noon, hindi na ako nag-ahanap ng boyfriend eh. Parang sobrang saya ko nang mag-isa. Nandun ako sa, sa mindset na yun na if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I love my single life. Like, I was my healthiest self. My mind, my body was my own. I was traveling the, the, the world. I really wasn't expecting anything. But when I was on my way there, I said, I think I might meet someone here. Because si Ben has a lot of foreigner friends. I feel like I'm a foreigner. Ako eh. Why? <laughs> um, bakit ba? Feeling ko kasi gusto ko ma-experience to to mira sa first world. Yun yung yun yung medyo shadow <laughs> na, na na-experience ko na ngayon na ayaw ako naman ng dumating kasi ako bumalik na pinipit <laughs> ng ng um. Manila, and then... Wait, wait, Yang. So, minamanifest mo yan dati. Like, parang, mm, ito yung gusto ko. Parang gusto ko kung mag-aasawa ko, sana foreigner. Bago yung pandemic ko, oh. Kasi gusto ko parang, parang masaya yung buhay na you have a home outside of the Philippines, but you go home to the Philippines every now and then. And nung hmm. pandemic, hindi ko na-experience yun, di ba? Kaya gusto ko na lang umuwi ng Pilipinas. Tapos, the other reason is, ah... Uh, Actually, to be specific, ang gusto ko, half Gusto ko half Pinoy, half something. So, nakuha ko siya. Yun yung minanifest ko talaga. I want a half Filipino raised abroad. So, parang pa- pareho kami na he understands the culture. Although ako, mas Filipina ako. I understand also well, Western upbringing. 
So, um, so there, Ralph was the best man, and everyone was telling me, you have to meet Ralph, you have to meet Ralph. And Isa already told me months before. I had lunch with Isa and Ben, and she, she told Ben, Ben, si Bianca for Ralph. Tapos si Ben parang, ugh, kung nang ganun lang, parang, can't stop it. <laughs> Why? So, Why? Alam mo naman ang boys, di ba? They're not excited to matchmake. So, yeah. parang, so hin- hindi siya nangyari. No, nothing happened, but, he was already in my consciousness. Oh, Ben has a younger brother. I even googled him. Sabi ko, may itsura. Pwede, pwede. So, nung nakita ko na siya dun sa wedding, when he was giving his speech, it was, he's so eloquent and it was so well-written. He's so funny, so good-looking. Sabi ko, that's my next boyfriend. Sabi ko, <laughs> na, akin na yan. Walang lalapit. Akin na yan. Oh, may na to. May na to. <laughs> oh, oh. So, after nung speech niya, Pumunta na ako sa dance floor para he'll see me. Tapos, next thing ah, I know... Ah, napapansin ka na. <laughs> napapansin na ako noon ng konti. Actually, hindi pa ako, hindi pa ako nag-umpisa. Yung mga guests ni Iza, si na Tim Yap, si na J.M. Rodriguez, pushed us together. And and we we started dancing. And that was it. That was it. By the next day, boyfriend ko na siya. 